I can't believe it's time for another year of vacation Bible school. The year has flown by, hasn't it? Really? I thought it felt like forever. No, an active mind is a healthy mind, Ashley. That's the Dave Burgundy motto. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. An annoying noise annoys an oyster. An annoying noise annoys the oyster. Terry, what are you doing? Your annoying noise is starting to annoy me. Well, Dave, I'm, I'm doing voice exercises. I messed up so much last year. This is going to give me a chance for a redemption. Ashlea, you know, this might help you with your voice modulation problem. Here. What gall to play ball in this small hall? What gall to play ball in this small hall? What gall to play ball enough, in this... Enough with the vocal exercises for just a moment. What's with the big backpack, Perry? Well, same reason, good buddy. Last year, I faced a little bit of everything. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. There was the, that perfect storm. And who could forget that huge wave? I have no idea what the theme is for this year, but I'm ready no matter what happens. Six thick thistle sticks. Six thick thistle sticks. Just give me your cards. No more vocal exercises, please. Look, there's a video game console. Why don't you just play a video game, will ya? But I'm already at my screen limit for today. It's 8.30 a.m. How much screen time do you get? I got up at 5 a.m. because I was so nervous. But my mom did say if I play with other adults, I can get extra screen time. Well, I don't normally play those infernal things, but if it keeps you from these vocal exercises, give me a controller. I don't see any video games around here. Just turn it on. Maybe there's one already in there. All right. <laughs> what in Sam Hill is going on here? Where are we? Uh, guys? I think the better question might be, who are we? What kind of nonsense are you talking about? Well, you have a mustache, and you're talking like Dave Burgundy, but you don't look like Dave. No, you look like me, but with no mustache. And what in the world? I'm a girl. Wait a second. I'm a boy. They couldn't have made me into Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I had to be Perry. And I guess... That makes me... Dave? Hey, don't you use my name in vain. I, so that's Perry inside my body? Certainly is weird looking at the world from a shorter person perspective. Tell me about it. Try being Shorty McStuffins here. Guys, somehow the video game made us all switch bodies. It's like we're inside the game. Now we have to figure out how to get back. A menu button? What kind of nonsense is this? No, guys, it totally makes sense. If there's one thing I know, it's video games. And that must be what these big buttons are. We all have one. I'm gonna hit mine, just see what happens, okay? Oh, cool, check this out. It says my name is Agent P, sweet. And my job is equal. Equipment. Oh, I guess I get my backpack here. Oh, man, they shrunk my backpack. That stinks. And my weakness is eating cookies? Well, I guess that does make sense. Let's see what my character can do. My name is Agent Ash. My special power is Bible knowledge. And my weakness is whispering. That we already knew. Yeah. Well, let's see what I got. My name is Dimwit Burgundy. Very funny. My special skill is reading, like that's a big deal. And my weakness is, I guess I don't have a weakness. What do you mean you don't have a weakness? Yeah, come on, Dave. We all got one. It's not like it's a big deal to be embarrassed about. I'm not telling. I'm gonna make annoying noises until you do. The six sheep, six sheep, sick. Red leather, yellow leather, toy boy, toy boy, toy ah! boy, toy Just stop it. Fine. I'll tell you. My weakness is hair. 
Are you happy now? Actually, yeah. That makes me a lot happier. I won't be happy until we get out of here. Place a cookie upon your face. Against the clock, you must race. From head to mouth, the distance spans, but do not touch with your hands. If three tries are not enough, too bad, too sad, you're not the right stuff. Guys, I know this one. I, I can do this. Is that face so cookie? Check my backpack. Hey. Yeah, yeah, in here, there's yeah, three cookies. And all you got to do is you stick it on your forehead like Wait this. Wait a second. Aren't cookies your weakness? Oh, I forgot. It's okay, I, I can do this, I promise. T minus one. Hey, what is that? I think it's a countdown, just like it said. Against the clock, you must race. T minus 50 seconds. Then hurry, Perry, hurry. I'm trying, but no offense, Dave, your, your face is way seconds. blockier than mine. None taken, that's how a face should be. Uh, I'm almost seconds. there. Almost got it. Uh, oh, gosh. Maybe I shouldn't be the one to do this. Here, Ashley, you give it a try. Maybe I'm the only one who can do it. Okay. I promise I can do this, guys. Just, just let me try again. Perry, I'm telling you, don't mess the first challenge up. It doesn't help when you add extra pressure. Look, I almost got it. Almost. What happens if the third one fails? Is there another cookie in the backpack? No, it, I don't think so. It's just, there's just one cookie left. What if I mess up? I mean, well, Guys. can't we just reuse the one that fell on the ground? No! That's way past the five second rule! Why didn't they give us more cookies? I mean, three cookies just isn't enough for this challenge. You know, that reminds me of the Bible story when the disciples didn't think they had enough food. Ashlea, this is no time for you to use your Bible knowledge skill. No, seriously, I think it's the right time. Exactly the right time. Listen up. I'm telling you guys, I don't think I can do it. Someone else has to. No, Perry, didn't you hear today's story? God gives us more than enough when we trust in him. And Perry, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I trust in you. I know you can do it. You got this! Okay, if you guys think so. T minus one minute. Okay, it's on my forehead. Oh, oh there's on my eye. Oh, it's on my cheek. I'm getting there. T minus 50 seconds. I'm getting there. This is the hard part. Huh? Oh, good ah, do it! Well, I can't say that, but I figured I had to at least act like you could do it if we were going to have a shot. Thanks, guys. I, I think, but I'm telling you, I might want to do you the next one. Red leather, toy yellow leather. boat. Annoying noise, toy annoying noise, noise boat. Sure. Toy Red leather, yellow boat. An annoying noise, noise, noise. Sure. Toy, oh, oh. Did Ouch. someone say something? I can't hear anything with these handy dandy headphones Perry found in his Hello Kitty backpack. Why don't you take them off, Dave? Are you two knuckleheads done with your vocal exercises? Well, you're never quite done. I mean, it's a, it's a life skill we're working on here. Are you done for now? Yeah, sure. <sighs> So what are we supposed to do now? Well, maybe it's time for a new challenge so we can get the heck out of this video game. And back to our regular bodies. Let's see. I am the special reader of our team, 
So let's see what today's riddle is. The challenge for day two, to land a flipped bottle, but up on who? There is no table, but instead, the bottle must land up on a head. Only then to the next challenge may you go through. This is just complete and utter nonsense. Dave, it's not complete and utter nonsense. I, I get these challenges. Haven't you ever done the flippy bottle challenge? You know, you, you flip a water bottle and try to get it to land upright. Yeah, I've done that a lot of times. But the poem said, there's no table. What are we supposed to flip the bottles on? I don't know. Oh, let's check the backpack and see what's in there. Check it out. Water bottles, a Frisbee, more water bottles, okay. What do you think this is? I think someone has to wear that on their head to be the table. No, I'm the tallest one here. You'd have to throw it all the way on top. He does have a point. I mean, we want to take as much height out of this as possible, which means... Oh, no, you don't. I'm not wearing that on my head. Come on, Dave. It's our only shot out of here. Let's figure it out. All right. Give me that thing. But you guys better make this quick. All right. Hold it there. Hold it there. You got it. You got it. Okay. There's our table. Now, on for the... Can I have a water bottle? Thanks. Okay. You ready? Can't you guys flip a bottle any better than that? It'd be easier if you weren't moving all the time. Come on, you guys. We have to work together. Well, try telling that to him. He's right. This is hopeless. I feel like this would be a good time to pause and learn about our Bible story. Darn right. Stay still, Dave. We almost have it. I'm sorry, guys, but I just can't be the table anymore. I know I'm the shortest one, but I've got a raging headache. Is it because of all the bottles that we're throwing at you? That and the stupid voice exercises you guys were doing <sighs> earlier. I told you, they're not stupid voice exercises. It's a life skill, and I see that you have a headache, and... I know that's not fun. It's, I'm sorry. Well, why don't you try wearing this frisbee thing and see how much fun you have? That's it! What? what? Think about it. Our Bible story was about switching places to have sympathy for each other. What if we traded places too? So you're saying that I have to wear the stupid frisbee thing now? Unless you want to flip a bottle up on Mount Kilimanjaro here. No offense. Actually, I take it as a compliment. All right. Give me the thing, and you guys have to go easy on me. I tell you what. It's a video game. I know a cheat code, so I can get a stool and get down to your height just a little bit. Okay, everybody. Places. Go easy, guys. Did it work? Did it work? Yeah! Look at that! Can you believe it? All we had to do was switch spots. And work together a little bit. Thanks, Perry, for being willing to switch with me. No problem. Truth be told, I'm not sure I ever had the coordination to get that bottle to land. Tell me about it. I got the headache to prove it. I'm just joking. Now we're on to the next challenge tomorrow. Yeah! I'm awake! I'm awake! What time is it? I've lost all sense of time in this infernal video game. I, guys, I think we slept through to the next day, which I guess means we're ready for our next challenge. Well, we might as well see what it is. 
Mm. You might start to think I'm a nutter, but my favorite sandwich is peanut butter. It's sticky and sweet, and for this level to beat, you must bounce a ball in one. These riddles are getting crazier and crazier. And not to mention, they don't even rhyme anymore. Like, what does one rhyme with in that poem? It doesn't make sense. Harry, why don't you check what's in your backpack? You check for me. What do we got? Peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter. And a bunch of ping pong balls. Well, that makes about as much sense as a bucket of hammers. Do I have any hammers in there? No, that's just an expression, you dimwit. Um, I think that's your code name. What? He's Agent P. I'm Agent Ash. And you're dimwit Dave. Don't you remember? I tell you, I've had enough of this stupid game. It's your darn fault we ended up in here. Why don't we just play this video game to pass the time? Actually, Dave, I just, if I remember correctly here, you were the one who suggested that we play the video game. I'm just done with it. I tell you, good luck figuring out all of these challenges on your own. What? Well, that was rude. I know. Tell me about it. Don't worry about it. I know Dave. He'll come back around. But in the meantime, let's let's figure this out together. Okay. You stand over there. And uh, let's see. I'm going to set the peanut butter right here. And okay. And here. Oh, there's even a stool over here. We can just bounce it right there. How okay. hard can it be? No, a little harder, a little harder. Come on, you can... Go, go, faster, faster. Let me try, let me try. You got to go with the multiple effect here. Oh. Nope. Kind of like a shotgun approach. It didn't work. You try it again. A little, a little better this time. Do two at a time. Two at a time. Two at a time. I just don't get it. We hit the sandwich tons of times. I don't hey, know. what are you doing eating the sandwich? There's like an endless supply in my backpack. You want a bite? No, I think I'm good, except I still don't know what we're supposed to do. We might as well just take a break for our Bible story, right? Might as well! I don't know, Ash. I don't think our menu button's supposed to be used as a peanut butter knife. I know! But I'm hungry! And you ate all the peanut butter sandwiches! Well, I thought there was an endless supply in the backpack and... Well, I guess it's better than using your fingers for a knife. Look, now I got peanut butter all over myself and I'm all sticky. Exactly. Dave, you're back. Group hug. That's enough. Seriously, you're covered in peanut butter, Perry. And you're getting it all over us. Sorry. Don't be sorry. You've actually figured it all out. I did? Look, peanut butter is sticky and you kept trying to land the ball in the sandwich. Which is what the riddle told us to do. But the ball didn't stay on the sandwich. It bounced right off. We know. Because you weren't using the sticky stuff. What? Look, I realized something listening to the Bible story today. I walked off and I left you guys. Like that other sister that Pastor Seth was talking about. What made Ruth so special is that she stuck with Naomi no matter what. What does that have to do with peanut butter and ping pong balls? And not only did I know I needed to turn around and stick with you guys, but I also thought, what sticks with peanut butter? Jelly! Exactly. They go together like peas and carrots. But peas and carrots don't stick together. Again, just an expression here. 
So here's my idea. Perry, do you have any jelly in that backpack of yours? I, I think I saw some earlier. Why don't you check? Why didn't you say so earlier? Well, because it's grape jelly, man, and I'm a strawberry guy. That doesn't matter now. Here's my idea. What if we open up the sandwich so the sticky stuff shows and put a little jelly on it like so? Oh, wow. Well, here goes. Okay, let's see if we can get a ball to stick now. You could do it, Agent Ash. There you go. You see, we just gotta stick together. Like Ruth and Naomi! Like peas and peanut butter. Wait, that's not right. Like carrots and jelly. Well, you know, that actually might be an interesting flavor combination, come to think of it. Remind me never to eat anything you've ever cooked. But I promise to stick with you all the rest of the way until we get out of this game and beyond. All right, all right, all right. Two more levels to beat. I'm feeling good today. You know, I'm afraid to say it, but me too. We're so close, I can almost taste it. Hold on, guys. In a video game, the last couple of levels are the hardest to beat. Come on, Ash. Don't get all jittery on us now. You're kind of messing up our team mojo here. I'm just saying. Well, I'm just saying I think we can do anything as long as we stick together. Let's see what our challenge is today. Today's challenge is more of a race. If you want to go home, just come in first place. If you lose, you'll just have to wait and tomorrow you'll find out the rest of your fate. I'm getting a little less of a team feeling on this one. There's more. So here is the sum and the gist of your race. What you must do to get to first place. Put on 10 t-shirts and once there are none, hit the red button and your journey is done. So where are these t-shirts? Well, here, check the backpack. Yeah, there's a ton of them in there. Well, let's think about it this way. At least we know one of us will go home today. But what about the other two? I mean, what happens to them? They live on to fight another day. There's still a fifth level to beat. It's not like they're doomed to failure or anything. But... But you said yesterday that we'd all stick together no matter what. Hey, I didn't make the challenge. We just have to do what we're told, and maybe on the other side, I can help you guys out, get out of here. What do you mean I can help you from the other side? Why do you think it's going to, it's you who's going to win? Well, look, I don't mean to be crass, but this is the one time when being smaller comes in handy. I can throw on t-shirts much better than you two. Are you saying I'm too big to put on t-shirts? If the shoe fits. Wait, wait a second, we have to put on shoes too? No, it's just a saying, dimwit. No, you're the dimwit, remember? I'm going to show you who can put shirts on. I'd like to see that, bub. Look, wait a second. Are are we really saying that it's every person for themselves? Guess so. All I can say is good luck. Whatever happens, whoever gets home, they have to help get the others out. I just think there has to be some other way. Let's just wait a minute and give it some thought. Look, guys, I don't like it, but I'm not the one who made the rules. We do the challenge like it said, and whoever wins the race gets to go home. The other two just figure it out. You're just saying that because you'll think you'll win. If I win, so be it. That's the American way. We all have the same chance here. You know, Ashley, I hate to say it, but I think Dave is right. I say we go for it. 
But whatever happens, don't let Dave win! There you go! That's not fair! Who said anything about fair? Wait a second, pause! But I only have one more shirt to go! I'm gonna get out of here! You pause yourself! No, seriously, Ashlea. Look at Dave, look what we did to him! Whoa! I didn't realize we were gaming up on him that bad! We were kind of acting like those two guys in the story that walk right on by on the other side of the road. Or maybe even the guys who beat him up! Look, I don't want to be like those guys. Let's help him out! Here we go. There you go, Dave. All new. Hear me out! We got this far by working together, right? So... What would happen if we all put our shirts on at the same time and hit the button at the same time? I don't know. But what's the worst that could happen? Well, we could be stuck in here forever. Or we could all get through to face the final challenge together! I'm willing to see what happens. I definitely don't want to go against the two of you. Okay, but... We were so close to winning. Here, let's get ready. Okay. My last shirt's on. Almost uh, there. I see why you're coming in last, Dave. Kind of slow okay. on the shirts. Okay. Now all we have to do is hit the button together. Okay. On three. One... Two, three. Well, I know we're not home, but you guys look like kids. Speak for yourself. You need to look in the mirror. Uh, guys, I'm not sure I like this. I think we're all kids. Quick, let's hit the button again on three. One, two, three. Uh, guys? The good news is we're back to the right age. And it looks like we switched bodies. But not the right bodies. This is ridiculous. Tell me about it. I went from small to tall and I don't like it one bit. I don't know guys, it could be worse. How? We could have been stuck as kids. I think I might have liked that better. Let's just focus on our task at hand. One more challenge, and then we'll beat this stupid game. Well, you have the clues. Let's hear it. Okay. Here goes. For the final challenge, you'll need to know all that you've learned. The way you've grown, take all your tasks, and in order to win it, put them together in just one minute. Take all the tasks and put them together? Does that mean we have to do everything all over again? Check your backpack. All right, let's see. I have one cookie. Check. One water bottle. Check. One peanut butter sandwich. Check. One ping pong ball. Check. And one tiny t-shirt. <laughs> yes. Check. That's just cruel. Especially this tiny shirt. No, guys, it's OK. We've done all of these before. All we have to do is do them again. In one minute? That's preposterous. Come on, we have to at least try. I can do the cookie. I can do the water bottle. Well, I'll do the ping pong ball and peanut butter. I guess that leaves me the, the little shirt. It'll stretch, Dave. It'll stretch. Okay, guys. We can do this. Spread out. I need some space. Start the timer! T minus one minute. T minus 50 seconds. T 
minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Chicken! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, Hit the buzzer! One. Zero. Um, guys? Yeah, Perry? I'm still on the wrong body. And I... We're all stuck in this Tron wannabe game. It didn't work! Did one of you mess up your parts of the game? I landed the bottle perfectly. And I stuck the ping pong ball and ate the cookie. And I'm still wearing the shirt. So what happened? Nothing happened. That's what happened. Okay there, Hulk. Let's slow down. There has to be an explanation. I just can't think of one. Hey guys, I know what you're supposed to do to get home. What? Did we do something wrong? No, no, not at all. It's just that the challenge wasn't about cookies and ping pong balls. What do you mean? That stuff was all in the backpack. Read the riddle again. For the final challenge, you'll need to know all that you've learned, the way you've grown. Take all your tasks, and in order to win it, Put them together in just one minute. We did that! No, no, think about it. What did you learn this week? How did you grow? Wait a second! I think I understand what what they're saying. We just say what we've learned this week. Well, I learned that messing up isn't so bad as long as you've got a team behind you to pick you up. And, uh, uh, I learned that having a big voice isn't bad if you use it to encourage others. I also learned that helping others win can be just as much fun as winning yourself. And, and I learned that you should never give up. When you mess up, just try again. Dave, we're almost out of time. You've got to say something. Come on! Well, I learned that doing things by yourself or, or having Ten. to be first... Come on! ...isn't nearly as fun Eight. as being part Five. of a team. Four. God gives Three. us friends Two. to help us Two. through. Whoa, Zero. guys, something's happening. <laughs>